Miami Dolphins today is presented by the Fetch Rewards app. Download the app and use it to scan your receipts for points that you can then redeem for gift cards. It's all free and you get 3,000 bonus points when you use promo code DOLPHINS at chatsports.com slash fetch. Hit it, Producer Jeremy. <gasps> wee -oo, wee -oo, yeah, wee -oo. We got breaking news here, as you could probably tell by the headline. The Dolphins have settled on a new head coach. They are hiring former Niners offense coordinator Mike McDaniel as the team's new head coach. They've officially announced that the two sides have agreed to terms. McDaniel was one of the finalists alongside Kellen Moore for the head coaching gig. When that, of course, well, the interviews went down this weekend, I think McDaniel was viewed as the favorite going in, and he leaves as the favorite as well. Getting the guy that I know many of you wanted the Miami Dolphins to hire a long, long, long time Kyle Shannon assistant. You could really call him, I think, his protege, given his Trafford being as a Shanahan assistant, which we'll break down here more in depth in a little bit. You hire the offensive mind after you fire the defensive one in Brian Flores. By the way, Mike McDaniel is biracial. He makes him a minority coach, the first one that has been hired this year in the cycle for NFL organizations. I don't think the Flores lawsuit though, had any impact whatsoever on this hire. The goal is to make Tua a franchise QB. You go with the offensive mind, the best one you thought you could hire to maximize your young QB in Tua. We'll spend plenty of time here breaking down the hire of Mike McDaniel. That's the whole point of the video. Duh, right? But I want to hear you guys and your comments first and foremost. So grade this hire of now former Niners offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel as the OC. A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know what you guys have to say in the comments section. This is the pinned comment. So if you get the ad break here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Now, McDaniel's career, for the most part, is summed up here. There was some brief time in Houston. 2013, he is the now Commanders wide receivers coach. Browns wide receiver coach in 2014. A Falcons offensive assistant in 2015, 2016, where he ran into some, had some issues with the Browns as well with alcohol. 2017, 2020, he was the Niners run game coordinator, then was promoted to Niners offensive coordinator. His rise has been fairly quick. I mean, we're a couple years moved from him just being an offensive assistant under Kyle Shanahan. I will make note that McDaniel has never called the plays. I would assume he will now take over play calling duties in Miami. I do not know that for certain. We'll wait and see what decision ends up getting made, but as we film this live here, or there's no news on that front. I will make note, and this is a testament to what McDaniel's been able to do personally, he's actually been sober since January 2016. He had alcohol issues earlier in his coaching career. He's since been able to fight those and solve those, and has been sober since 2016, which is fantastic news for McDaniel. It's an interesting hire and a, frankly a fascinating one as well because McDaniel, I believe, and this is something that guys like Andrew Hawkins, former NFL player, have said as well, one of the smartest coaches in the NFL. Now you got to get that smart to translate and you got to be able to connect with your players beyond just being super smart person. Doesn't always work out. You know, Mike, Matt Patricia, super smart, terrible, terrible head coach. As mentioned, and we'll come back to Mike Daniel, don't worry, but I do want to tell you guys about the Fetch Rewards app. Download the app at chatsports.com slash fetch. Then get 3,000 bonus points when you use promo code DOLPHINS when you sign up and download the free app. You can redeem... You, you, you get points for any and all receipts that you scan. Then, as you can see right here on screen, take those points and redeem them for gift cards from all kinds of different places. Amazon, Starbucks, Target, AMC, if you're a big movie guy, like Intern Jack here is at Chat Sports. 3,000 bonus points when you use promo code DOLPHINS at chatsports.com slash fetch. If you like me, spend a ton of time on Amazon. They'll take care of you with those bonus points redeemed for gift cards. It's all free. All you have to do is just scan your receipts. You will get points that you can then redeem for gift cards. Why wouldn't you want to do this? Earn points on any receipt 
from any store or restaurant, then redeem those points for gift cards. Think of it as like, you know, your credit card gives you cash back or points or, or whatever you can then redeem for stuff. You use the Fetch Rewards app to do the exact same thing. Only this time you don't have to, you know, pay extra for a credit card. It's all free. 3,000 bonus points at chatsports.com slash fetch promo code dolphins. I'll put the link and the promo code in the comment section and in the description. All right, Dolphins, other interviews. The guys that Mike McDaniel beat out for the job. Vance Joseph, he was eliminated fairly quickly in the process. I do believe they wanted Brian Dable. He, of course, gets the Giants head coaching job. He took that one, and that left the Dolphins searching for. Dan Quinn pulled himself out of the race. Don't know if they would have gone defensive mind. Anyway, other interviews included Leslie Frazier, Gross, Thomas Brown, the running backs coach, which I thought was kind of weird, and then Kellen Moore was the other finalist in this race for the Dolphins' head coaching job. There was a report today that more impressed the Dolphins. Don't know if that's true or not, but it was a report. And then the Dolphins, of course, settle and pick Mike McDaniel, which I thought was the correct hire after they missed out on landing Brian Dable, who, of course, was Tua's OC briefly at Alabama. So what is your one-word reaction to the hire of Mike McDaniel as the Dolphins' new, uh, or new head coach? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. My one word is fascinating. Mike McDaniel with the glasses and the hair doesn't look like your football guy, Dan Campbell, head coach. I mean, after all, this was a guy who played at Harvard. Like, this is not necessarily the, or excuse me, Yale, Yale. This is not your typical football guy, but he's highly intelligent. I think he can, can, can design a great run game, which will help your quarterback as well. And he's super smart. So I, I, I like the hire quite a bit, and I want to see how it goes. Tua is, of course, what this hire in the end is all about. Can he be your franchise guy? If we assume that the offense, looking at Kyle Shanahan offense, that means plenty of play action, maybe some more shotgun looks for Tua, plenty of play action, and taking shots deep, which the Dolphins offense hasn't fully trusted to be able to, to do with a bad offense line. We'll get to that in a little bit. But two at Alabama was a very successful deep ball thrower. I would like to see more of that. And I think you can maximize that off of play action if you can develop a better ground game, which the Shanahan-style ground game has always been able to do regardless of who your running back is. That will help maximize your young franchise QB. So is Tua the guy? Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Type in Y for yes, he is, or type in N for no, he is not. Y or N in the comments right now. Now, my expectation here is that, and it could be, it could be off base, but given someone has always worked under a Shanahan, I would fully expect a new zone-style running game for the Miami Dolphins with the hiring of Mike McDaniel. You're looking for guys that can pull, that can stretch and create space a little bit more on the outside and some inside zone runs too than your typical pulls and gaps and trap types of plays. So I am curious then how they handle this offensive line moving forward because I, I, I like Robert Hunt. I think he's got to stay at guard in this new defensive or this new offensive scheme because I don't not think he's quite the great athlete that you want really being a puller. I actually think Austin Jackson fits it pretty decently from that perspective. Jesse Davis can hang around, but you still want to throw picks and get help on this team because the offensive line has not been good enough. And I do think you'll allow Mike McDaniel to find a new running back as well. I think Miles Gaskin can have success in this style of offense. But for years now, we've been like, is this the year the Dolphins draft a running back? I wouldn't be surprised if it is what they ended up doing. Look, Malcolm Brown, Philip Lindsay, Savon Ahmed, Duke Johnson, Patrick Laird, Gerald, those, those guys aren't intriguing. Why not spend a top 100-ish pick on a running back and see what ends up happening? Folks, this is why you subscribe, by the way, for breaking news, rumors, draft coverage, and oh so much more. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe for free videos on the Miami Dolphins every single day. Now the next step, the next steps, which we will spend plenty of time talking about here on Dolphins today, I almost merged the words steps and staff and said staffs, which makes no sense, 
is making a staff for Mike McDaniel. I do want some experience on it on offense. I would love a, a veteran position coach, maybe a, maybe a Jim Caldwell if you have decent you know trust in that guy who's been a head coach to help mentor McDaniel a little bit. If you can find one, easier said than done. I do think that McDaniel can get a better coaching staff than Kellen Moore, and I do think that's a big part of the interview process. It's like, okay, who are you going to hire as your, uh, your OC staff, defensive staff? And I think that McDaniel was able to sell them better than Kellen Moore, given he spent more time with a wider variety of coaches in his time in the NFL. And I wonder, can you keep much of the defensive coaching staff as well? Technically, Josh Boyer was your defensive or your DC, but we all know that in the end, that was a Brian Flores-led defense. But I think you got some, some decent guys on here. Gerald Alexander, Anthony Campanelli are young, up-and-comers. Maybe you keep Charlie Fry as your quarterback's coach as well to keep some level of consistency with Tua. After all, Tua, every year he's been in the NFL, he's been a new coordinator play car. Not exactly ideal from that perspective. So again, the breaking news today. The Dolphins have hired Mike McDaniel as their new head coach, leaving just two jobs open, the Saints and the Texans. But for Miami, they get at least, I think, the second best option if they weren't going to be able to get Brian Dabble. I think McDaniel is a strong hire for this organization.